fellow diamond painting addicts and welcome back to Diamond Painting Anonymous. Today I have another quick unboxing for you. I have become apparently a tray addict as well as a diamond painting addict and so I have once again ordered goodies. So uh, let me see what I've got in here. Got a cute little picture and it says thank you so much for another tray order and another little sample from shimmering canvases i actually am going to go out and do an order with them just so i can see they sell square crystals and drills and um ab's so all square though i believe Specializing in square diamond painting drills for the diamond painting addict. So I will be going out there and testing them again. Let's see. Uh, this order was placed on the 30th and I got it on the 6th. So not bad at all. And what you can see in here is more trays by Mooney Maid. So I went out the other day and she actually had some trays left, which was not the case the last time I went. So I ordered three of the large size trays. And what I got was one regular tray, which is the large size, which I've already gotten before and I've showed on the channel. And I'll put a, a link up there to the card. Um, I had to get a color I wasn't thrilled with because that was all that she had left. So I will be at some point doing a giveaway with those or with that particular one, the mustard color one. These I wanted to try. She did actually have a mint colored one left, which I'm going to guess is this one because it's in the green paper. That is the large size. So that may be going to giveaways as well. I wasn't going to open these, but I might as well. Right? 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 Okay. So there's the mint colored one and it is the large one as you can see so there's that one and then when i went out to look i noticed that she had new ones she had ones that are um excuse the crinkling while i wrap this up again here put it with the other mustard colored one may have to go find my own stickers to make them stick anyway um, I ordered, she has translucent ones, so I was really curious to see. I got a translucent one in ocean blue, and I got a second translucent one in uh, passionate pink, is what she's calling it. Now, these translucent ones, the, the regular solid color ones are $10 a piece. These translucent ones are $12 a piece for the large size, but I was curious... I think I've mentioned before, my husband and I have a 3D uh, resin, well, I have a 3D filament printer. We also now have a 3D resin printer. Um, but, so I'm always curious to see how everyone does theirs and what it looks like. Now these are 3D filament printed. And you can see, because they're translucent, I don't know if you can see that, maybe it's not translating on screen, but you can see kind of the um, what's the word I'm looking for? The pattern underneath so that you can see kind of how it fills in. I'd love to know what she does to get the bottom of her tray so smooth. I like that. Um, but I wanted to try these translucent ones and see because one of the things that I have started doing is when I'm looking through my drills is putting them over my light pad or just being really, you know, kind of holding them up to the light at an angle like this so that I can see ones that have tabs and if it's something that you can see through it's a little easier to see the shadows so maybe i can't see the tabs with my eyes but the shadow caused by the tabs will stick out a little bit more so i wanted to try these and see what they were like so cool never going to get this back in here the way that it was before am i i'm going to try i'm going to try i'm going to try 
because I think once I open it, I'm probably going to keep the pink one. It is nice and translucent, which is what I wanted, but I may keep the pink one for myself and give the blue one away as well. I just really wanted to see what the translucent ones were like. So, and I'm doing a terrible job of wrapping these back up, but that's okay. So here is the pink one. And I'm just gonna unwrap this one because I'm pretty sure I'm keeping this one. It's more of a fuchsia color than a pink or magenta. Of course, it's got the Mooney made here on the side uh, where it gets engraved in. Somebody was asked me, is engraved embossed? Embossed means raised, right? And engraved means it goes in. Embossed means it stands up. So since this is in, that's engraved. I don't know what it matters, but somebody was asking me. Again, it's really smooth. So I do wish that the funnels on hers were a little bit different. I wish this part here kind of went down in a curve or at an angle, you know, like the regular, like, like your regular trays do, but it is about the same size as these big trays width wise. It's obviously longer, but it's about the same width. So if I could have that same funnel there to dump them back in, because sometimes with these, especially when you're filling up bottles, it just isn't, not, it's, doesn't fit in there quite right and so stuff spills but that's neither here nor there um, I really want to try them and see I think part of the reason people like her trays so much better is because the ridges on them stick up quite a bit more and so when they separate your you shake your diamonds and separate them they just line up so much more nicely so in fact let me pull out some of my crappy black drills here and see I'm getting glitter everywhere see how well they line up even if they're my crappy black drills yeah even the crappy ones line up pretty good so and I can when I hold it up like this because it's translucent. I don't know if it translates on camera, but I definitely can see some shadows and things where things are not, um, I can see the little tabs and things. These are crappy drills anyway, but I just keep them on here for, for this purpose. See, and that's one of the things I don't like. It goes everywhere. get all these down out of the way that's the other thing on some of these 3d printed trays not this one necessarily but where the ridges are she's left an extra big gap over here and an extra big gap over here um, so that hopefully it doesn't happen that things get caught in the corners but I know I've got a couple of trays that that does happen so something to be aware of and I've I've got I ordered these trays I've got a couple more, I think, that I'm waiting on still, maybe. Um, and then I am going to be doing a tray comparison between a bunch of the trays that I have and see which one I like the best. Because I already know some I like better for rounds, some I like better for squares, but I do have one particular one that I kind of gravitate towards all the time. And it actually isn't even one of the expensive ones. It's one of the cheap plastic ones that I got, I think in a case somewhere, honestly, I don't even remember where it came from, but it just seems to fit the best in my hand. So if you haven't found a tray that you like yet, don't despair, keep looking. There's probably one out there. There's a couple more I still wanna try. There's a YouTuber who sells them. I wanna try hers, but she's out of the country. So it'll be a while before I do that. Um, and there's a couple other places I want to try as well, but first I've got to save up for some more pins. So anyway, so again, these translucent ones were $12 for the large tray. This was the passionate pink. And then I also got one in the ocean blue. And then I got another of the mint, um, large size mint solid color ones for $10. So 
uh, $34 for the trays plus another uh, $11.74 in shipping. So this is an Etsy shop. Don't forget to add shipping onto it. Um, but she does send them out really quickly, so that's good. Um, and I did have enough that I kind of felt like I got some choice instead of just whatever was left over this time, so that was nice. So I will put a link to her shop in the description down below. And yeah, keep your eyes peeled if you want one of these because I hopefully, once I hit some subscriber goals, will be doing a giveaway. Hint, hint. So. I have purchased yet more diamond painting trays because I am in search of that elusive perfect tray. So I ordered two trays from another shop on Etsy and I will put a link in the description below to my 3D designs. And what I ordered was actually two different trays. So I will show you, here's their card, my 3D designs, um, Etsy and Facebook, and they've got their little QR codes. Um, so there's that. I ordered two trays. I ordered this one which is called the Aero Design, and this is in silver. This was $8.25, and you can see it comes to a point here, and it's got this little strip over the top, but it's got this opening here, so I'm hoping that means when I go to pour, it will pour nicely. I do have some drills, and we're gonna test out how they line up and everything in just a minute. And then the other one that I ordered was this one. This is their, um, it's in turquoise and it is called, uh, I don't know if it has a name like the arrow one, but basically it comes with this little spout and you can pick to have this spout on the left or the right. And again, these are 3d printed as so you can see this one has some little things in there. I'm going to have to, maybe they're just scrape those off so that the drills don't get caught on them it's just little pieces of the filament but yeah I mean need to we'll see if that affects how it works so this again is left side pour because I'm right-handed so I'm gonna pour my drills like that so I got a left side pour this one was eleven dollars and seventy five cents and it was five dollars and ten cents in shipping charges for both of these and I ordered these on the, looking at my spreadsheet here, ordered them on the 11th and I got them on the 1st. So I think this is one of those shops where they wait until they get your order and then they print. So it does take a little bit of time, but that's okay. I'm fine with waiting. Um, that way I can pick out what I want. And again, for me, that's just easier than whatever. Okay. So I've got some spare drills here. These are not great ones. These are kind of trashy 310s. So we'll see how well they do. I want to pour some drills in here, shake them, see how they line up. Um, do I have any round ones laying around? I don't think I do. So we'll just go with squares for now and we'll see. Okay. So shake and then tip oh those line up pretty nicely actually and again you know some of this you can see where they don't line up great because the drills aren't great so they're weird sizes and stuff but they did actually fall in the lines okay now the question is can i pour them the way that i think it's like if i tip them like this and get them all down to the bottom and then oh it looks like they will pour pretty nicely. So, hmm, there is a piece of filament stuck back there that's gonna get in the way. So let me get my tweezers out and see if I can grab a hold of that piece of filament. If I can see it, that's on this side. There we go, there's some extra pieces of filament that were kind of hanging on and getting in the way of the drills. Oh, there's still one in there. Let me see if I can grab that one. My husband and I have a 3D filament printer and we also have a 3D resin printer that we just purchased and he's 
busy trying to figure out how to use it because again I'm in search of that ever elusive perfect diamond tray so he's trying to see if he can figure out how to print me something okay there's some things in there that I don't know if that's gonna cause an issue with the drills or not but it's really hard to get something kind of stuck down in there so I can see why that is like that okay so then let's shake these how do these line up and then tip those line up pretty well my problem has been with some of these 3d trays is here on the edges where you can see the ridges are not it's like quite a bit bigger right here that space um, here they look to be just about the size of the drill so they fit the squares okay that this row might be an issue with rounds and same thing on this one it looks like you know over here it's not even big enough for a drill round or square to fit in but then it's extra wide on this side and that's one of the tricky things about figuring out how to make it line up so that it works the right way but then I'm going to put my finger over the spout here and I'm going to tip these. So a couple of them did stick and I don't know if you guys can see that right here where it's printed kind of in a line. It's got little edges on it. I can probably sand those off, but yeah, that's going to catch drills. There's just some little, little filament pieces that are going to catch drills. So get those out of there anyway so let's see how it pours okay I do have to bump it a little more than I thought I would and again I don't it's probably really hard to see I don't even know if you can see down in there but um, if I can get it where I can see it see how there's some some filament pieces kind of sticking off in there so I might just get like a sandpaper and a piece of dowel or something to kind of stick in there and kind of sand those off a little bit so the drills don't catch. Um, and same thing on this, you know, when you're looking down inside this boat, there's like little pieces right there that um, just need sanded off a bit. So, so yeah, uh, $8.25 for this one, eleven seventy five for this one. And they seem to work okay. The true test is, of course, always when I go to put them on my table where I'm diamond painting, which I will be doing so I can test them out. And I'm actually hoping I've been gathering, um, I've got one more order of trays to come in, I think. And then I'm going to be kind of doing a tray comparison. And I will actually have them where I do this, where I test them with round and square. Um, I will hopefully have had a chance to diamond paint with all of them so that I can give you kind of a working comparison and my thoughts on them to see which ones I like because I have several 3D printed trays. I have these two. I have one that has handles as well as a stoppered spout. I have two that are stackable with a lid in the spouts um, as well as of course, you know, the generic ones that you get with kits, these that you can buy on Amazon, to my giant dinner plate tray, as I call it, um, that I'm going to be doing a comparison of. So stay tuned for that. But yeah, there's this unboxing. Uh, my 3D designs again on Etsy, and I will put a link in the description below to their shop. And there you have it. If you like this video, don't forget to do all the things on your way out give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. That really helps out my channel and hit that bell notification icon so that you can be informed of future uploads like this one. And as always, thanks for watching.